In this video, we're going to take a look at writing linear equations in standard form. First of all, it would be good to know what exactly standard form is, so let's take a look at that. Standard form is ax plus by equals c. And any equation that we can write to make look like that is a linear equation. Now, a couple more things about the a, b, and c there. Typically, standard form means that the a, b, and c are all integers, meaning there's no fractions or decimals involved. And we'll look at an example here of what we can do to get rid of those fractions. Also, typically, a is a positive number. So working within those constraints, we're going to take a look at uh, five examples here of writing the linear equations in standard form. The last thing is that x, or excuse me, that a and b cannot both be zero, because if that was the case, we'd just have c the constant. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. All right, so first one right here. This is linear because we don't have any powers or square roots or absolute values or anything like that powers other than one of course and to write it in standard form we want to make this x term be positive so to do that what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add 5x to both sides because I want the x and y on the same side here so when I do that the x is positive so it's 5x plus 2y and that's equal to 7 okay so took the x over there now it looks like that that's in standard form <clears throat> all right let's take a look at this next one now in this case notice that the x term is already positive so in order to keep it that way I'm gonna leave it here and I'm gonna bring the y over so to do that I can go plus y plus y now what's left here well there's zero because I had minus y plus y, there's 0. Then, right here, we have 7x plus y plus 5. Okay, and notice how I tuck that y in between there because that's going to get us that standard form. Now I need to get rid of that 5, so I'm going to subtract that from both sides. Then 0 minus 5 is going to be negative 5, and I'm going to flip it around. So I'm going to take this x and y stuff and write that first. So we have 7x plus y equals negative 5. So there it is in standard form. All right, let's take a look at this one next. In this case, notice that we've got y terms on both sides. Ooh, well, we need to get that all together. So let's take this and bring it over here. So minus 3y, want to get rid of those 3y's, so we subtract them, minus 3y, so that would be minus 8y equals 25. Oh, is that in standard form? Well, we could write it like this if we wanted to. Let me just uh, change colors here to show. We would have 0x's minus 8y equals 25 okay that would look like this we just don't have an x term there so there's our standard form now sometimes we might want to know what the a b and c are because we can use those to help us find different things and uh, that's a topic for another video but notice that a in this case would be zero all right then let's go on to this last one here well, this one we have y equals 2x. Well, i got to get the x and the y on the same side, so I'm going to subtract y. And again, we want to be careful here. What's left on this side? Well, there's 0 left here. When I subtract y there, I'm going to have 0 equals 2x minus y. And I could flip that around, of course, to be 2x minus y equals 0 that's written in standard form alright I saved the fraction one for last up here not that it's difficult but just uh, something a little bit different now if we have fractions to be in standard form we don't want fractions so we need to clear them out of there to do that if there are fractions we can multiply by something that will get rid of that denominator 
the easiest thing to multiply by <coughs> would be whatever the common denominator is. So in this case, they're both 4. Let's say this one was 6, for example. Well, then we would multiply through by 12, because 4 and 6, our common denominator there would be 12. But in this case, they're both 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply through everything by 4. So multiply everything by 4. Then notice what happens here. I could put this 4 over 1. Those 4s are going to cancel out, and I'm left with just x. Then, same story here, the 4s cancel out, and I'm left with 3y, so plus 3y. And then over here, 6 times 4 is 24. So there it is in standard form, no fractions or anything like that. So, writing linear equations in standard form, first of all, here is standard form. Typically, a will be positive, and a, b, and c are all integers, meaning no fractions, no decimals. And sometimes we have to do a little work to get the things in order. And when we do that, <coughs> remember, we'll just use our equation-solving skills to get those equations organized in the appropriate way with the x and y on one side and then the constant term on the other. And remember, just because there's missing one of the variables, x or y, that's okay. We can still write it in standard form. The only time we get into trouble is if we were missing both the x and y term and just had a constant like 25 there, if those are both gone. Hope this video is helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.